Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, following a question from a viewer. I've talked about this in the past, but Windows 10 is the easiest operating system to reinstall without having the need for any tech guy. You do not have to go to a tech shop to reinstall Windows. You might think, um, you know, well, no, 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 I don't have the requirements. I don't know how to do this. I can't do this. Yes, you can. In Windows 10, it's extremely simple. There's no such thing as in the past where you had to, you know, uh, not only install Windows, but then find the driver specific for your machine and all of that. In almost every case, this is automatic. It's a process that happens on its own, and you will have a working Windows machine after. Two options, of course, are offered to you, and I'll give the... Um, I'll actually um, tell you what you should do depending on situations and what's fine to do or not. So if you go into your start menu into settings and then you go into the Windows Update and Update and Security, you'll see a tab called Recovery on the left side. When you go here, the first option, Reset this PC. This is the option that will bring you this panel and from there you of course continue on you don't need any windows cds you don't need anything in most cases this will work on its own and complete itself and you'll have a freshly reinstalled windows 10 on your machine two options that are available if you have a lot of files and you don't have backups uh, first it's a big problem because backups are necessary and should be done for everyone but still you can keep all of your files on your computer so this will remove the apps will change the settings back to a default but will keep your personal files if you keep your files so that means you know documents and pictures and all of that all of that will be there but all the apps all the programs you had that's going to be gone and the settings too. And that has to be done if you want to have a fresh copy of Windows working as brand new. The other one is remove everything and this will completely erase everything and just give you a fresh new install of Windows 10. Now when do you choose one over the other and when do you not choose one over the other and so on? Well, if you have a system that doesn't have any, you know, deep problems and that doesn't have, you know, you know, you're not infected with viruses or anything, keeping your files is fine. It will give you a fresh new copy of Windows, but all of your favorite documents and music and, and, and documents and, and, and all sorts of things that you might have kept on your computer should still be there uh, without any problems in general. So you can, of course, safely do, well, keep my files and um, you know uh, reinstall this will take a little more time usually than the uh, remove everything because it will actually set your files aside in a temporary folder from the time that it's going to start installing windows you don't need as i said a copy of windows it downloads what it needs from the internet and will of course install the latest version of windows to your pc remove everything when should we use that if you suspect you have a virus, uh, if really something is weird with your system or completely wrong, I think removing everything is the best option because it'll make sure that your system starts from scratch. No viruses, no nothing, and that you'll be safe and that you'll be okay. And this is also an option to choose if, for example, you would give your computer to somebody else. Well, you want to remove everything. Now... You have this, once you start this process, what's gonna happen is then you're gonna have a complete install that's gonna happen. And then you'll have what we call the out of um, the uh, out of box experience. Um, you'll have some blue screens gonna show up with the different steps in Windows 10 to uh, make sure that you install Windows 10 the way you like it. So it's gonna ask you for your Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi password so you can connect online. Uh, it's going to ask you for a Microsoft account if you want a Microsoft account with your password. Of course, if you have OneDrive and you have backups of uh, lots of things, that OneDrive will, of course, show you all the things that are online. 
and pretty much um, just continue on. It's going to ask you for a name for your PC and so on, and it's just going to continue on with your standard install. Don't be scared of those questions. They're very, very simple. They're not going to ask you a lot of things, and they are pretty well explained in general, each option that you will say yes, no, or whatever. And you always have the chance and the possibility to change that after the install anyways. And like I said, when the install's done, you don't really have anything to download except maybe your favorite programs like, you know, maybe re-download Google Chrome if Chrome is your browser and things like that. But you'll be at a fresh new computer just like if you had just bought a new PC uh, at the store. Like I said, a lot of people are scared of this option. They think that they need somebody to help. And I can tell you, I've had a lot of people that I know that are very, very basic in their computer usage that actually did it on their own and said, well, you know what? It wasn't that bad. Actually, it went well. So I think before going to the tech guy for a fix because you might need to reinstall, you have nothing to lose to try it by yourself. And by, you know what? save a couple of bucks at the same time. Hey, if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.